Hi, I'm Donna from The Masquerade, and I'm going to show you how to do a Y seam. A lot of people are afraid of them. Don't be a scaredy cat. If you have the right tools, and you have patience, and you can take it step by step, it's not as hard as you think. This Y is kind of upside down, but if you were looking at it right side up, I always start my Y seam with the left side of the Y, with that left arm. Then I go to the right arm, and then I go to the stem. I always start from the straight edge, to the point where the intersection of the Y is on that left side. And then when I do the right side, I start from the intersection and I go out to the straight edge. And then when I do the last seam, I start from the intersection and I go out to the point. And that's how I get my Y done. It's good to have a foot that shows you where the quarter of an inch mark is when, you, when you're sewing. So I'll show you what my foot looks like and we'll get this seam done. So the first one is the left side and I'm going to put it right sides together. I'm going to match my straight edge and let's get started. So this is the presser foot I'm going to use. It's a quilting foot. It's wider on the back side but it's got only a quarter of an inch toe on the front side. It also has these red lines on it. If you're looking at these red lines across here, those ones show you exactly where the needle is going to go in to the fabric. And if you look at the one out here and here, they show you a quarter of an inch from the edge of a fabric as you're sewing it. So I like this, this kind of a quilting foot. It uh, gives me a guide that I need. So now let's get started. So I'm going to start from my straight edge and I can start right from the edge of the fabric and I'm going to come in a quarter of an inch from this edge on this side so I'm matching that along the edge of my foot. And I can back tack a little bit. Now I'm using a 2.2 stitch which is pretty much a normal stitch for this machine. And I'm sewing towards the Y intersection. When I get close to the end of my fabric here, I want to stop a quarter of an inch in from the end of the fabric. And if you don't have one of these feet, you might want to mark that quarter of an inch just so you know where exactly to stop. I bring my stitch length down to like a 1.8 or a 1.5 so that it won't unravel at this point. And I watch very carefully and I make sure that my line stops right above and then I take a stitch backwards. just to lock it in place. So that's that seam. So this is the next one. And what I want to do is fold it right sides together. And then I want to make sure that I'm stitching this seam so I can start here and go out to the straight edge. So here's the seam that I'm about to stitch, and there's my straight edge, and I want to start from the intersecting point now. So I'm going to make sure that everything is pushed away from me, any seams. I don't want to catch them when I stitch. I'm going to start from the point that I left off at, and to do that I'm just going to needle down in that spot manually to make sure that I'm exactly in the last hole my needle made. right there. Now this is a good place that you might want to start with your locking stitch if you have one. And if you don't have a locking stitch you might want to just take small stitches. Otherwise you can use a regular size stitch. And I back tack at the end of the straight seam. That's two down, one to go. So there are my two seams already stitched and now it's the last part of the Y, the main trunk. The best way to do that is to fold your piece diagonally right sides together so that you can match up the seam that you have to sew. It's also good 
to make sure that these seams you've previously stitched are pushed away from you on the front and the back. At this point, you can start right away by putting your needle down right where the last stitch went in the last seam you did and stitch down. I like to fold my square piece in on itself, wrong sides together, so that everything lays nice and flat like this. And now I can really see that seam and I can put my needle in right there and then do my quarter inch seam. This is my Y intersection and this is the diagonal seam I'm about to do. So what I do is get that right in underneath there and I put my needle in right where that last stitch was taken. And this is where I'll do a locking stitch or I'll bring my stitch length down to like a 1.5. I have a locking stitch so I'm going to do one. Now, on this particular block, I'm going to have a seam that I have to match. So I'm going to watch closely here. This seam has to match the seam underneath it. And if I turn this back on the quarter inch mark, I can see, I can see that they're going to land right where they need to land. So I want to just hold that in place. I could pin it or I could glue it on both sides if I want to. I'm just going to hold it. And then the next seam is the same way and I can peel that back and look at it and I can see right where it's going to land and it's perfect right where it needs to be. It's black. You can't really see it on the camera very well but believe me it's right there. I want to make sure this doesn't fold. And if I scooch up to it, I can feel that both of the ends of the seams, because they were, they're stacked and they're both pressed in towards, or, or away from me. They're both pressed away from me. Perfect Y seam. Now we've got to iron it properly. I like to take my Y seam and the stem of the Y, I like to open it out. And when I get to this intersection, I'm going to trim off any threads and I'm going to make sure that when it's laying open on both sides, that it lays nice and flat right up on both sides of that square and then the square will lay flat right down on top of it, just like that. And then I press the square edges out towards the outer edge of the quilt. There you have it. That's perfect. And the intersection I did is also landing perfect, so we're all good. That's going right in the quilt. Goes right there. Now, those Y seams were very easy. I, I shouldn't have to worry about these ones either. This is a lone star here, and so I'm going to have a lot of Y seams to deal with around the edge. I'm going to hit all the edge ones first, and then I'll hit these ones in the middle. So now I'm ready to finish my quilt, and I'm not worried about Y seams at all. You shouldn't be either.